What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another training guide. Today we are working our way through the game changing past players, which is Bellingham, Verratti and Tony Cruz. And we are going to be starting with England's Jude Bellingham. Now this guy is a beast, but he is very hard to train up, I think, to get the best version of him. Obviously he's got double touch and one touch pass, which is huge for a box to box player. He has got interception as well as game changing pass. So obviously that's going to be something that you will have to take into consideration especially as we look for the best version of him to suit your play style now there's such a variety of ways you can train him because he can play left midfield and left wing as well which is quite unusual um but obviously that's where he was playing a bit during the world cup and stuff so um it is it is obviously good that he has unwavering form as well and he's got a really nice base stat of low pass ball control and stamina so you can kind of steer the card in a very simple way but it's just kind of choosing which way you want to train him because a lot of people I've seen have trained him up very defensively which is a very very solid card but obviously you just have to kind of um you know you have to have a good player beside him to be able to be more creative then then if you train him a little bit more creatively you have to have a bit of cover in your backs so depending on your squad we are going to have three different versions of him I'm not going to waste too much time with these players the stats on this um are right but the player skills obviously here is missing game change and pass that will be added to the db soon i've asked the lads to add it um so hopefully they get on that as a box to box lads your main role with a box to box player should be in my opinion should be covering every blade of grass as much ground as possible having a good um engine on him good stamina and also you know being good to very good doesn't have to be excellent doesn't have to have 90 plus in any stat that isn't about tracking down the ball and as you can see with this version of him here we do have his defense maxed out which i think is a little overkill a lot of people are kind of making this defensive version of him and, and asking is he good personally for me i would not train him this defensive he's too defensive he's going to get the boost from tackling and aggression or tackling and defensive awareness that's going to bring his defensive stats up over the 90 mark obviously and the aggression at 94 is very heavy at that as well you are lacking a little bit of passing here if you are going to be playing him in that central midfield role look a box to box is one of the most important players because you're bringing the ball forward manually by running with the ball and you also need to have average passing if not good passing you don't need to have like as i said 90 plus with the passing such as like an orchestrator or a whole player um because they're kind of mostly what carve open the passes with you but you will find no matter what system you set up unless you are playing an extremely defensive minded see a center midfielder that's a box to box he's going to bombard forward and like try and get rebounds and like to push forward so you have to be able to do everything and i think that this card doesn't do enough now you could tweak that even you know make a couple of modifications to it um to make him a little bit more uh, kind of in line with where I'd go with him. But yeah, that is going to be kind of the defensive version of him where you're going to really focus on getting the tackling and aggression up to about 92, 93. But you're neglecting the low pass, you're neglecting your dribbling, you're not adding too much to acceleration either. Next up, we have got an attacking based version of Bellingham. So this is kind of how I would imagine he, he was playing in, in uh, the World Cup. He was very attack based. He was kind of let loose a little bit uh, more than he was usually. Um, playing for England and I think this could be a position that he kind of takes up a little bit more attacking because he's got serious skill man he's the unbelievable player in real life for a youngster and this is all about dribbling it's all about dexterity to get the acceleration up but the main thing we're going to focus on here is his balance because he is tall he's actually got really good balance for a tall player so we don't need to boost up his physical contact that much um with this version of him if we're going looking now how i would play this guy is if you are playing right if you are playing him as an amf which he can play when we look back here if you are playing him as an amf in this position this is going to be more playing kind of like you know a very defensive competitive combative midfield right if you're not playing any whole players or classic number 10s or orchestrators if you just want to be very solid in midfield even though the ball kind of bypasses midfield a lot of times when you're playing against good opponents you know um but if you have a good anchor man and you've got a center midfielder that can do it all going forward and going back if you've got a very solid setup at the back, if you're playing a 3-5-2, if you're playing something like that where you have your three centre-backs, 
that switch into a five at the back when you're defending manually or that switch you know stay kind of deep and wide um when you are defending from the backs if you are able to free up bellingham this is an extremely good attack and based version of him because you've got 10 into dribbling and dexterity which raises his balance up really high goes to 86 you've also got 80 acceleration 84 speed 88 stamina and the kind of key with this card is when you get the boost, you are going to have tight possession, low pass, and balance all up around the 90 mark, right? And including you're going to have 84 or 85 speed, acceleration is going to be 82, 83, and then the ball control is going to be about 94, 95. So it's an extremely good card. Obviously, it has a little bit of passing and finishing um, that you can have in that kind of attacking midfielder role. And then last but not least, we do have this other 95 rated version of him. Now, I think this is an extremely good card as well. We haven't neglected anything. We've met him kind of like the main man in midfield. He's got 10 into dexterity, but 10 into defending as well. So you can see there that his tackling is 88, his aggression is 88. Also, his tight possession and low pass, they're still fine at that. I don't think you need to add much more to that. We're not going to be playing him in that attack and midfielder role, so we don't need shooting. He has got really high balance and acceleration if we're going to be playing him there. Now, I don't think that you need this much dexterity, depending on how you play him. You can kind of cap that at 78 to still get the boost when you've got your form arrow to bring it up to 80. Um, and I do think that it makes for a better card if you do have his passing, depending on your play style, right? If you're extremely comfortable in possession to pass and dribble the ball around, it is nice to have an extra few bits into passing, especially to get it to maybe 85. So that's right, limited at that. And then I would also try and get up the, aer the aerial strength just to have a little bit of variety in his card to bring it up to a 96 overall, right? Um, you have a bit of you know physical contact there mixed with the balance. You've also got defense, you've got dribbling, you've got passing. This card can do it all. Lads. It's a perfect center midfielder. If you've missed out on Mataus, if you've missed out on Goretzka, if you've missed out on any previous versions of these box-to-box -box cards. Now, if you have the other version of Bellingham here, the English version, this is an extremely similar pack um, that they released. This one is also similar with some stats um, compared to the Showtime. So, you know, don't panic if you already have a version of Bellingham. Um, even his standard card goes up quite good and matches up quite well with this card. But it's just the fact that obviously this is a showtime with the game changing pass. So, yeah, we will be back with Verratti next. But to me, I still have yet to see, you know, the game changing pass guys come in and make a massive difference. And I think it all depends on how you play and how your tactics are set up, right? Bellingham is a player that can fit any system, any tactics, any manager. He's set up perfectly. He's a tall player that's really, really agile on the ball, plays extremely, really good football. And as you can see here with his card, when you have got a player this tall that is able to defend and hassle and harass, but also has the on-ball skills of one-touch pass, flip-flap, cut behind and turn, soul control, double touch, you know, with the ball roll, being able to dribble with him, you can kind of attack your opponent from every single angle, right? And on top of that as well with his play styles, he's got amazing run and size of run, long ranger and trickster. So you can get away with having stats that are in the mid mid 80s compared to some other players that don't have these player skills where you need to boost them up to like 90 plus. So we'll be back with Verratti next. And until then, we'll talk to you in a bit.